you know, I had a feeling the pictures were going to be actually real, and they were. So, what's up, guys? It's Inferno Cun, and welcome to some more Game of Thrones news. We got the little trailer from Telltale, more of a teaser, because I was expecting a full-out trailer, but hey, barely nothing, right? So, if you guys did miss it, I'm going to go ahead and play it right now, and then I'll discuss about it. For centuries, the Foresters have been loyal bannermen to House Stark. A house of traitors. You rely on your ironwood, that much is clear. It would be a shame to see it fall into the hands of another house. I imagine you'd do anything to prevent that from happening. Wouldn't you? Okay, so I'll try to keep spoilers from the show to a minimum. I'll just kind of hint towards what it is, but not really say what it is. So if you guys haven't watched the show and you're really sensitive about that, be sure to click away. I don't want to spoil anybody and have anybody be mad at me. So, you know, let's go on. First picture we have is of the guy who is limping or something like that into the forest, the place. You see the place we already saw in that little key art thing. Maybe someone that could obviously be a part of House Forrester. But moving on to the next picture we have of Marguerite. Now having a too happy look on her face. Now, I know the game takes place between season 3, towards the end of season 3, and towards the beginning of season 5. Now, you remember what happened in season 4, episode 2, you know that guy we hate so much. That could probably be why I'm going to be hitting that. Just I'm not going to say it, but anyways. Moving on, the picture we saw from the leak of Tyrion. Now, for the most part, I want to point out the graphics. Now, this is a more higher res picture. And it does fit it like, you know, how Telltale really dabbled in doing realistic stuff. It does look like Peter Dinklage and, you know, looks really good. The graphics, not really too crazy about them, but they are looking good for a Telltale standard game. And I think it's going to actually fit it well, seeing how we saw it in the trailer. It actually went, went very well, the movement and stuff. Anyways, over here we have a picture of Theon Greyjoy. And Ramsey Snow or Ramsey Bolton. Now, I did not think the dude that was in the leaked pictures was Ramsey because I don't know the the face resemblance didn't really seem likely to me. And I mean, in this picture, it definitely does. Now, not sure what was up with the last picture. It didn't look like it, but this one definitely does look like Ramsey Snow. And then we have him torturing Theon Greyjoy like in the show. Now it's cool that we're having some kind of events that took place in the show actually appearing in the game. And also characters like, you know, Cersei, Tyrion, Marguerite, you know, uh, Ramsay, Theon, all the people making an appearance in the game. That's pretty cool. Now, for the most part, we hear Cersei talking about House Forrester and how they're loyal to the Starks and everything else. Now, obviously, that's not going to go well because the Lannisters Baratheons, everyone in King's Landing pretty much hates the Starks because they're traitors. And Cersei has been beating that lie from the beginning, so they're going to be treated no differently from House Stark at all. Okay, so here we have a picture of the wall. We know they're going to be making an appearance in the game, as Toto told us. And then lastly, we have a picture of this guy with the Forester shield. So, looking pretty awesome. Nice teaser. Would have liked a full trailer, but hey. We get what we get, and I'm okay with that. So, thank you guys for watching. If you guys did enjoy, leave a thumbs up. And if you are excited for Game of Thrones, leave a thumbs up. I know most of you aren't really, you know, too yay about Game of Thrones. But, hey, I like it. Telltale's actually doing a great job, you know, showing some stuff so far. The story actually sounds pretty interesting, bringing the house forth during everything else that happened in the TV show. So, I'm definitely up for that. So, hopefully we'll be getting a release date soon. It said premiering soon. And we all know soon means soon. Also, it's up on Steam for pre-orders. You can pre-order it with a discount of 10% for $26.99. The original price is $30. So, they're charging more because obviously there are six episodes. And usually each episode costs about, you know, $5. So, knocking it up a bit more doesn't really change my opinion. I'm still, I still buy it. I already bought it already. So, moving on to what I had missed. Okay, so I missed these, but here are some of the characters that we're going to be seeing slash playing as throughout the series. We have Osher, 
Forrester. He is the exiled son of Lord Forrester. We have Malcolm Branfield. That's Lady Forrester's brother. We have Raylan Degor. He is Ironwrath Master at Arms. Then we have Maester Ortigran. He is the Maester to House Forrester. Then we have Lady Eliza Forrester. This is Lord Forrester's wife, the person we saw in one of these screenshots before. And then we have Garrett Tuttle. He is the squire to Lord Forrester. Moving on, we have Myra Forrester. He is one of Lord Forrester's eldest daughters. Then we have Lord Gregor Forrester. He is the Lord of Ironwrath, aka you can call him Lord Forrester. And then we have Ethan Forrester. He is Lord Forrester's third born son. Then we have Ryon Forrester. He is Lord Forrester's fourth born son. Then we have Talia Forrester. He is Lord Forrester's youngest daughter. And then we have Duncan Tuttle. He is Castellian of Iron Wrath. And then we have Roderick Forrester. He is Lord Forrester's first born son. And that's all. That's all the characters that they reveal right now. So Lord Forrester seems to have four sons and one daughter so that's pretty cool i'm guessing we're gonna play as probably of course laura forrester we're gonna play as his wife maybe his oldest son then i also think we we'll play as osher the exiled son because you know exiled son he's gone so have a rebel son and then we probably play as one of the guys who aren't really have the forrester name but they are sworn to forrester like you know malcolm branfield that's later that's lady forrester's brother and maybe one of these guys like you know roland I mean, Roland Degor, he mastered at arms, so, you know, it could go any ways. But they did say you can play as, you know, people who are sworn to Forrester or just people who are in the Forrester house. So, anyways, thank you guys for watching. If you guys did enjoy, leave a thumbs up. These screenshots, well, these character showcases are pretty awesome, showing the family, the house Forrester, and who we shall be meeting in episode one. So, thank you guys for watching. It's been Inferno Kun. And I'm out. Peace.